Hey, what's up, y'all? Hope you guys are having a good one. Uh, today, the new maps came out, so I'm just going to go through and uh, give you my first impressions. So, this first one is Cirrus Plaza. As you can see, it's kind of like an arcade theme. Um, it kind of opens up in this big room at the start here. Um, really close range towards A and C, but as you can see here on B, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of vertical height. And that's kind of a key thing that you're going to notice on a lot of these maps. Um, coming around towards C here, you can see... Once again, it's kind of this like luxurious hotel kind of feel to it. Um, and I, I think it's really cool, especially this room right here where I think a cat point is going to be right here. Um, I, uh, I really, really like the angles on this map, especially for GLs. I can see a lot of close range, but also if you like playing more far range, like a full rifle or hand cannon, then um, this open area is going to be good for you too. So. Um, I'd give this map a solid B+. I'm really excited to get my hands on it, and uh, let's go to the next one. So the next map we have here is Dissonance. Uh, this is the second one of the two, and when I was looking at it at the start, on the uh, the maps that they gave us, the TWAB, I was really thinking this one was the one I was a little worried about, that it would be a little too far range, but as you can see, once you actually walk into this map, it's super close range in the middle here. It kind of opens up towards the extremities of the map, as you can see kind of over here, um, towards A and C. But um, once again, you can see the vertical height on uh, on display on these maps. Uh, the corridors themselves aren't the widest ever. You can see there's a lot of these little gaps that you can run around and move with. But um, it really likes to open up towards the extremities, which I think is really good map design and um, exactly how, how maps should be. You know, a good example of a map that does that well is Javelin 4. You've got a lot of close range in the middle, and then as it goes out, it opens up. So i um, really, really happy with this map too, honestly. Um, I think all kind of weapons are going to work here. There's a lot of different long sight lines, a lot of short sight lines. You can really kind of choose your experience. So I'll give this one a B, because I don't think it's as good as the last, but still good. Now into the final map of the three, which is Eventide Labs. This is on Europa, and uh, this is actually the one that I was most excited for, looking at the just the call-out maps that they gave, and I am not disappointed. It's this really, uh, like I said, I, I think a lot of these maps, they open up towards the extremities and are closer in the middle. They've got this little, like, loop around up here with these ice caves. Um, I know this area is going to be really cool with the radar. You can see there's, like, a little ice thing below us. Um, but whenever we come out to B, it really opens up again, um, which is definitely a common theme around these maps, and I think they recognize that that's what works with a lot of the, the maps in the sandbox today um except for uh the Sears plaza actually that one's kind of the opposite it's more close range on the outsides but um we're talking about eventide labs here so we won't talk about that but um i i really i'm excited to see how this map plays i think this one might actually be the best for trials this kind of gives me like a d1 map kind of feel um i can't remember which map it was but um I really, really like the aesthetics, and I like the, the kind of angles, you know, going through these doors. Um, and I think this is going to be a really cool map, especially this middle area and towards B. Um, but also the distance between A and C is really, really interesting, too. Only, you know, 70 meters. Um, so in control or something, I can definitely see good teams trying to hold down A and C and keep B outside. But uh, let me let me know what you guys think. Uh, have you tried these new maps out yet? I'm about to hop into the new playlist, and... Uh, get some experience so i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna hop in and uh, get some gameplay for y'all which is coming up next so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video see you in the next one
left for your enemy and they stay dead that's why we have fire team one opponent remains their breath. Only one minute left. Who says warlocks are better with books than with guns? 